Hi guys, someone just asked me in the comments to take on the Lee Chess Stockfish, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. This might be a two-part thing, but you go on Lee Chess Home, play with the computer if you want to play along with me, guys, and then I'm going to do one to eight in terms of the Lee Chess uh, Stockfish strength. So, so level one is an 800. Now, I don't know if this is like 800 chess.com, or I assume it's like 800 in Lee Chess eyes, so probably like a 500 rated player. So... We're gonna. I might go through like Stockfish one to four today, and then next episode we'll do the final four. See if I can win. So let's hit this knight. I don't see why not. Okay, that's aggressive. Now let's play with a bishop. If if the knight and they take, I get double isolated pawns. So do I take with the queen? I think I want to put the knight there. So I'll take with the queen. Um, ready to castle. Line up here. So they're hitting this pawn. So I'm just gonna reinforce. Now. Be wary of this, guys, taking on these isolated pawns in the center. It's only good if you have this move to reinforce. If you don't have that, then then this structure on its own is awful. But now, it's, it's lovely. So where did they go? Okay. All right. Ah, ooh. So they're opening up the diagonal. I learned this the hard way the other day. I did this, and I got punished by a move like this, which forces them to go here because they can't develop the bishop any longer. But I have already moved my queen, so maybe maybe I'll just kick this knight. It's not got many squares. It's got to jump back there. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's what we're dealing with, guys. Just straight up hanging a, a knight there. Um, do we take? If they take, it helps us. But if queen takes, they develop. Um, all right, let's just take. I was thinking, do I give the rook the open file? But it probably won't matter if we, get, if we are just getting free pieces. Um... I'm still looking at this as a threat, but should probably get castled and try and play principled, guys. Teaching everyone good habits. So let's load up some pressure down this file. It's not really aimed at much yet, but... So what we want to do, we want to get our last pieces developed, guys. And to win this position, we need to crack in the center. So I'm not sure what this move actually does. So I'm just going to kick the knight back. It's a bit of a confusing one there. So they're hitting my rook. So they've got, if I take, they've got a good continuation of hitting my rook. So I'm going to capture this. This pawn will just help the expansion in the center. Um, this might open up towards the rook in a little bit because we are planning on pushing the center. But first, maybe we want to bring a rook opposing the king and queen, cause some issues there. So they step out of those issues. So we can push now. Just keep pushing, guys. Crack things open. Um, so they have castled. What if this? Trying to get this move. Let's try it. See if they see it. Okay, so if check, they go here. We go check. They can take. I think the king is sort of getting away. But if we play this... Oh, and our bishop's hanging. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so check. We're trying to keep the king locked in this corner. Hmm. I'm gonna as we go up taking on each stockfish, guys, I'm gonna get more and more serious. I won't be hanging pieces like that. Um so let's take, let's open things up. And then Bosch, we're in at the king. Okay, so how do we actually finish this king off? This move looks interesting to support this capture, winning the queen. So let's try that. So, I mean, it still hits the queen. It's still pretty damaging because it's, it's pinning the knight. Okay, they don't they don't defend the queen. So Stockfish level one, guys, you, you can do it. Um, it sounds good, doesn't it? Like, I beat Stockfish like, level one. <laughs> So, we can go capture, if they go here. Yeah, they can't even take. They can't even take because of the pin. So, that was a nice little capture to throw in. Um, mm. If this, give up the queen, maybe. Check. Oh, there's no need to give up the queen, is there? Let's just go here. 
reinforce this bishop. Now, let's just give a check. If they ever move to a dark square, they're sort of toast. If, um, yeah, if a, if a rook goes to a dark square, there's going to be revealed attacks and stuff like that, I was thinking. So, check, and where's the mate? Maybe here? Come on, just take my rook. Okay, so now we can get that with check. So that's just a free rook. I've got a spectator. <laughs> Rubik's Cube is spectating me. Cheers, mate. Ah, lovely. Okay. All right, so Stonefish level one. So if we click back, let's take on level two. Let's see how much of a step up this is. Um, oh, big thank you to Henke and Gortzel for recently supporting the channel on Buy Me A Coffee. It is crazy, guys. It's like paying for my food shop almost. Like people, yeah, supporting me. Buying me more than just coffee, which is like incredible. Uh, yeah, he's spectating me again. This Rubik's guy. Okay, so let's reinforce the center. Um, we've just won a pawn there, so let's keep it. Uh, we have got to be a bit scared, though, because they've got two pieces out. We haven't got any out. So let's try and get castled. Maybe here, hitting the hitting the bishop in the future. But let's just play solid, get castled. Okay, so we're very happy to trade off this pawn, guys. Because this was a doubled pawn for us. So this pawn is far less valuable than their pawn here. So that that's like us winning more material, effectively. Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay, so... This is supposedly an 1100 stockfish. Um, yeah, this is definitely Lee Chess rating. You wouldn't see any chess.com 1100s, just hanging knights. Uh, <laughs> I say as I'm about to hang a knight. <laughs> okay, so if this, just kick that knight back. Yeah, this, this stockfish has a really bad habit of just like random forward knight moves into the middle of the board where it's undefended. I mean, technically it's defended, but it's easily attackable with a pawn. This looks interesting, hitting the queen. Um, also, just, I mean, surely check's just good. This not working. They've got to start running the king around. Now, is there a tactic here? This square, if we can somehow sack something on this square, get rid of the bishop, then we've got this. So let's try and make that happen. Um, how could we get rid of that bishop? Or like reroute another another knight to that square would be nice. Uh, what about this? Trying to get rid of the bishop. And then this move will be a threat. Okay, let's take it. We're up material. Let's just grab the bishop. And then... Have we got... Ooh, let's just develop another piece. This isn't hanging. We're protecting this. Hit the queen in the center. March these pawns. We want to crack open the center because they have not castled. And they can't castle. And now let's just develop the final piece. Bring a rook. It's always good to take a rook to the either the open file or... Or like line it up with a queen. It's going to create issues in the future. Uh, uh, I mean, it's a free pawn. Looks a little bit uncomfortable for them. Could try to deflect their king away from the defense. Now the queen defends the rook. This just looks natural. Just hit the queen. This doesn't do much. Um, this isn't supported yet. If we just push, they take the knight. What if we hit the queen? If they take this, I'm very happy. Okay. Because <laughs> that's going to give us an open file for the attack. And that's going to speed things up a lot. Uh, so if we take that, that's another free piece. Queen defends. Okay, and now this not quite working, is it? But check first. Check trying to win the rook. They have to go back. Okay, so we just grab the rook and the other one. Uh, 
Let's do that. Give up the knight. And then we're coming in with checks. Like Bosch. And here. Okay, and they're trying to try to sack the queen at the end there. So that's Stockfish level 2. Again, not much of a fight there. Uh, so let's try level 3. What will this be, like a 1400? Okay, this should be a serious game. So like maybe an 11, 1200 chess.com. Uh, let's get pawn out before the knight, so so the knight isn't stifled, and let's just take a big center. Again, Rubik's Cuba is lo is loving spectating this game. All right. So, what do we do? Put another pawn in the center. I don't see why not. Uh, where do we want this bishop? Uh, this defense. It's defense here. Can he, can this guy spectating me see my arrows, guys? Do you know? This looks natural. This isn't at any actual real pressure, though, so we can probably just continue development. Um, I'd like to trade off this knight. If I take, it gives them, gives them sort of awkward pawns. Okay, so we've got to reinforce here. Here? Takes, takes is a threat because then takes at the end. So let's just thinking can we reinforce here but then takes okay so this is a serious game so far I might just snap this off the board just simplify a little bit so this is a bit of an issue if this takes takes they get this hmm so we want to hold on to this pawn Maybe we just give the pawn up. I don't see a good way of holding on to it. But they don't capitalize on that tactic. So I think we're alright now. Yeah, let's just get out of the opening. So this looking to expand on the queen. And we'd be hitting the queen at the end of that. So Bosch takes, takes. But then they take the pawn. So, hmm. So like this, just supporting this expansion. Okay, let's go for it. Let's take, let's open things up. I want to get to this square. Is my queen getting trapped here? This is sort of a, a bit of a poison pawn. Sometimes it's pawn here, guys. You've got to be careful. Um, if here, here, queen here, or, you know, we're almost trapped. Hit the queen. This. Hit the queen again. We're just about getting out, but I, I'd rather not grab that pawn. Um, if this takes, takes, it leaves us with doubled pawns. If this, they come out. You know what? I like this move. If they take, we undouble the structure. And if they don't take, we're just hitting their, hitting their bishop here. So pressure here, but a queen covers. If we jump in, takes... Get an awkward pawn in the middle there. So let's just take. So no advantage to be gleamed from this position yet. This hitting the queen, but then we lose this pawn. This. Just develop the queen finally, bring the rooks. So pressure here. Wow. We can't actually hold this pawn. So let's try and make something else happen on the other side of the board. Play where we're strong. This pawn is weak, so let's try and find where we're strong in this position. If this. Trying to get a queen trade. Or do we just rotate round and start attacking? You know what? <laughs> yeah. Why? Don't queen trade, guys, if, you're, if they've got an open king and your king is safe. Let us play this move. We don't care about the pawn. We're going to rotate round. And we're going to go mate white. So if this, they take again. Mm. This, we're trying to get through here, through, through like this. Getting in, slowly. We'd like to bring a rook. Rook here to try and help. If they ever take the pawn, we, we come in with the rook. Okay, that looks good for us. 
Got to be a little bit aware of back rank mate issues. And now this holds everything together. Can our queen be hit? Um, they could play bishop back here. But then we just have mate. So it's nice to threaten mate, guys. If this if takes, takes, we've got a nice revealed attack. I think. It looks a bit sketch, though, just leaving a bishop out there. Here, yeah, takes, takes. What do they do? I can slide this back, defend everything. Oh, no, queen just takes. Ah. Uh, so this is defending this. Could we undermine the defense? Could, if this takes, do we have anything? What are we? Up two points of material. We could just win this in the end game. Uh, or just win this pawn here. Just take the slight advantages. That's what chess is all about, the higher levels, guys. So you go up. You forget about trying to just win the game in one. You just you're happy to just double their pawns or take a little advantage, you know. So this looks nice. Double the rooks. Try and get here. Okay, let's just trade everything off. I'm sick of this guy. So again, they are defending this mate square. So let's come in like this. Happy to trade the queens at this point or just grab this pawn. Uh, just checking again, back rank issues for me. Um, the queen can't get there. So I think we're safe to play like this. And then we're going to promote these pawns. If takes, takes. Is this pawn rolling? I think it should be. There's this thing, guys, where the king can't take the base of the pawns. Like even if the king comes round, it cannot capture this pawn because we'll roll the other pawn up the board. So if we can trade this bishop off, these pawns will roll. Okay. So they can never take the base of the pawn chain. So let's just bring the king. Cannot take. We'd push. And then we've got this pawn to push. So let's pre-move that. Oh, you can only do one pre-move on leech, yes. Okay. All right, careful for stalemates, though. Uh, let's just open the position up a little bit. Oh, and I'll do the method that I was, t I was teaching you the other day, guys. So you want to get your queen on this square here, if you're trying to box them here. Um, let's just make sure they've got a square. It's not stalemate. This pawn is sort of getting in the way. Um, they've got this square. Check. Okay, so we're not going to be able to use the the king queen method. So that's level three. All right, one more, guys. One more. Let's see what level four is like. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with these these stockfishes so far. Yeah. So this is a, okay. This is a 1700. So it's serious game. All right. Let's kick this knight. This is the Alakans, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, let's develop bishop to be fair. Uh, so, <laughs> how is this a 1700 Lee Chess? Come on. So we're just winning, so we just trade everything off the board. You have got to be a little careful when, when just trading everything, guys, because it, it can often develop your opponent's pieces um, when you try and trade everything. Let's just get castled, I think. Now, they, have, they are going to have this. They are going to have some attacking chances here. So we've just got to... Get out the opening, really. Um, if this, it just opens our bishop up, which is going to help a lot. Going to allow us to move the knight. And now we can try and get a queen trade. We hit this bad boy. Hmm. So they have got some aggression here, guys. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. If this, blocking this knight, bishop, blocking this bishop, 
Okay, so we are up a piece, but they've got rapid development because we did trade off things. Like I said, like it can be a bit scary trading off too much stuff too early. Like you got to develop as well. Um, so here, if it takes, it leaves us with very ugly structure. And I'm a bit scared about this rook coming. If this, it opens up the, the mate threat. So I've got myself in a little bit of a pickle there. I just want to bring the queen, start defending. And get the queen up involved in the game, we should be fine. So if they want to sack a rook for two pieces, that's absolutely fine. Let's try and swing the queen over. There's also this idea. Okay, so if queen over, if we get a queen trade, we're just happy. Okay, nice. So now we're just up a piece. Their attack has died down a little bit, but they get this attack in the pin piece. Okay, so we're now... Uh, yeah. So we're now just up a pawn. That knight was always dodgy. It was always a bit loose there. Now we're losing this roof. Okay. Well, we even on material, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play properly now. This this is hanging. This knight, this bear bishop is is pinned. We sort of want to play a move like that, so we can unleash the bishop. Um, this diagonal is very strong for black. I'm just a bit annoyed about that bishop. Hmm. Slide round. We're losing this pawn. We've got to come here to defend. Losing this. If they take, we're very happy. We correct correct the structure. Hmm. Okay, so this we'll throw in checks. Wow, this stockfish is like super aggressive, but like bad. But we just need to we need to win this, right? Um, if here they've got this, yeah. This and we just lose, really. How did I just get mated by it? Okay. Okay, let's get a Scandi. Let's hit the queen. Yeah. The <laughs> Stockfish level four isn't good, guys. I, I don't know how that happened. It is actually quite aggressive, but I just didn't get developed properly that game. So let's just play principled and we will win this. I guarantee it. All right. If we take, we do aid their development. Ah, just, just one. <laughs> but yeah, that's. That, I'm not going to accept any more pawns. All right, no more gifts. Let's get this bishop out. Get this, this, and then let's just get castled. Hit the queen. Danger levels. Queen's more important than, than this bad boy. But when doing this thing, I didn't check, but when doing this thing of danger levels, you've got to make sure they've not got an interesting move because then there's just two threats. So we want a castle. If Is this a poison pawn, though? If they take, we've got this. They've got this. Yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think it's great for them to take. Because of this move here. Only square. And their queen is a little bit awkward now on the edge of the board. So if we trade, we correct the pawn structure. If we take, we give them a, an isolated pawn. And actually, that looks really nice. Because then we get to hit the queen again. So they're pressuring here. But that... If this... 
Hmm. Why don't we just take and then we can save the bishop? Or take here. Yeah, we can trade the rook for a... Yeah, let's trade the rook for a, a pawn. And a, and a bishop. And this bishop is really pleasant. Okay, so we've got to be aware. They are quite attacking this stockfish. So, got to be careful. Let's just create an alignment issue here. Wherever we move the knight is good. If this... I think this, they can take. Now, this is a bit more annoying, actually, this take. They don't go for it, though. This looks really good. Ooh, it looks good on the surface, but then they've got this. And if we take, they take, but they take with check, so we can't take their queen. So this falls victim to this alignment issue. What happened to us playing a principled game? <sighs> yeah, we're up two points of material, but I'm not loving this position. We're sort of, this knight is pinned. This is, hmm, this is hit. The knight's pinned. We've got some problems to solve, guys. Maybe I underestimated this stockfish. Here, they can't bring a rook. This just looks like it helps the whole position. But then it's, this still falls. So maybe we just bring a rook here. It's just a very ugly move to make. Let's do it. Playing off this pin. So this hits everything. This looks nice now. They take, we take. Maybe they, they give me doubled pawns, but we're up a couple of points of material, so. They don't take. I think they should have... <laughs> yeah, they probably should have taken first. Giving me doubled pawns, but... Yeah, I'm happy with this trade. We're going to march these pawns down the board. Let's bring the rook. This is a threat now. A little fork. They've got this square protected. So let's go here, reinforce the square, try and push this pawn in the center. Cause some issues. If here, let's check. But they've got it covered. Um, let's slide back. Let's bring another pawn. They'll march together. So now if check takes... Oh, but this is pinned, isn't it? So we've got to play a little defensive for a second. We don't want them to move this because then they'll be able to attack the pin piece. Okay, so we lost a piece due to the pin, but we get a little check. What about this? Hmm. If this, they take. We've got a revealed attack, but all the rooks are on light squares, so it doesn't really do much. Um, if this here, here... They play like this, we struggle to promote. So let's go back, block this rook off. Let's hit the rook. Ah, there we go, there's the win. Bosh. And then, mm, let's do this and this. Trying to reinforce this pawn. Yeah. Had to take that one a bit more seriously, guys, at the end there. If check. So we reinforce the base of the pawn chain. And then bring the king. Just making sure we don't put our king and rook on the same file. Could be some issues. Uh, so now hit the rook again. And then can we finally push? Yeah, we can. So they're going after this. 
So let's not mess this up, actually. Might be being a bit hasty there. So if we go check, they go here, we win this. They go to here, we go here. Looks fine. Not great, though. Oh, they don't even take it. So we go after this. Or here. Going after this pawn. We've always got this past pawn, so we should be winning. If this, just pinning. We can throw it at this in, because it's check, and then go back. They're just giving us this pawn. So now we've got two pawns. Okay, we're fine. Now this pawn rolls. Then we start rolling the other one. Okay, that's nice. That's a nice coordinated move. We've cut the king off behind, behind everything. Now, what am I? What, what am I doing? I'm just uh, hanging that pawn. But uh, one is enough. We got this and this, and then again. Okay, they give us that bad boy. We're okay. Oh, guys, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. I did a video on this the other day. It's cool. I've been I've been checkmating wrong. You know, with, I've been treating the queen as a rook for so long when checkmating. This is how you do it with just... Wait, let's give them... Let's give them the rook. Okay. So this is how you checkmate with queen and king. You put your queen in the center. This is how to guarantee to do it with no stalemates. And then we try and cut them off on one side. Okay. So we've got them in this box. That's step one. Step two is we bring the king and we boomerang around like that. They block us off, but we, this is all pre-moves apart from that one time they block you off. And then you go check and mate. The little triple boomerang there at the end. With a... Uh, yeah. So it's like bosh, round, bosh, round again. Triple boomerang. You can do that in under two seconds. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's Stockfish level 1 to 4. I'll do a part 2 covering f uh, 5 to 8. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. Cheers. See you next time.